When I say Ivar, what pops into your mind? Is it this guy or this guy? I guess at least some answers will depend on which property you've seen. But for those of you who have played AC Valhalla and seen the History Channel's Vikings, have you ever wondered why the two depictions of what seems to be the exact same character are so different? I mean, it is the same character, right? Hi there everybody, I'm Rash, and in this video, we're going to explore the differences between Ivar the Boneless, also known as Ivar Ragnarsson, in Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed Valhalla, compared to the History Channel's show, Vikings. After that, we're going to delve not too deeply into the history of this character, which is a real historical figure, but I think you knew that already. And then, I'll discuss which of the depictions seems more accurate. Now, as you probably know, other than having an extra R in AC Valhalla's Ivar, the two depictions have one more difference. And believe it or not, they have some similarities as well. So let's start this comparison by reading a little bit about the two Ivar's personalities from their respective wikis. Starting with Ivar and pulling from fandom.com, here is what the personality and traits section says about him. Ivar was crass, sadistic, and manipulative, taking genuine enjoyment in killing and hurting others. As for Ivar and pulling from the same website, only this is the Vikings wiki, Ivar is a sadist, sarcastic, angry, bloodthirsty, and violent person. So pretty much the same person when it comes to personality, although the game's Ivar is more cunning and less impulsive. However, the interpretation of the boneless part of his name is what the two properties differ the most in, and it is also what the historians are inconclusive about. The show Vikings depicts Ivar as being born with weak bones, his legs twisted and seemingly broken, so he must either crawl or use a transporting method like a chariot, while the game's Ivar seems to walk, run, jump, and fight on his own two feet just fine. Instead, the depiction of the nickname Boneless here seems to be a lot less literal. And here is a clip from the game of Ivar himself explaining why he's called Boneless. Who calls you Boneless? Some backrout I killed in Hibernia. Used his guts to shine my spear. Called me Boneless because I move like a reed in the wind. Not because you're always too drunk to plow. As you heard, he's just agile. And what Eivor said here about his impotence is also one of the explanations of his nickname. So let's delve into the history of this character and take a look at all the explanations for this mysterious nickname. The original nickname in Old Norse is Ivar Bainlussi. And the word Bainlussi could be translated to either boneless or legless, because the word Bain could mean bone or leg, depending on the context, I guess. And so, due to this, the nickname was interpreted in different ways. Several sagas say that he's lacking bones slash legs, or having a skeletal condition like osteogenesis imperfecta, which refers to having brittle bones that could break easily. And like Eivor said, other tales suggest that the nickname refers to male impotence, and I'm sure you can draw a link between that and boneless. Now, Ivar the Boneless is a warrior in the sagas. He led huge armies to conquer England, and he killed a lot of kings. He is even thought to be the exact same person as Imar, which was a powerful Viking leader in Ireland and Scotland. So my thought process is, how could a person with brittle bones or no legs achieve all of that, especially in the Viking era? And no offense to people with no legs, they can do some insane shit if they put their minds to it, but still, in the Viking era, that seems very improbable to me, despite how the show Vikings depicts Ivar. So the impotence interpretation seems the most logical to me. Or this other hypothesis, which says that he was actually known as the Hated, which is translated from Latin Ixosus. And the reason that got mistranslated is probably because of some medieval scribe with only a basic knowledge of Latin that interpreted it as Ix, which means without, and Os, which means bone. And so Ixos, which means boneless, instead of Ixosus, which means the Hated. Probably butchered all of those pronunciations, but whatever, nobody's gonna get mad at me. It's a dead language. <laughs> that said, this hypothesis doesn't really stand on solid ground, because we have direct translations of the name from Norse sources. 
So, to conclude, I think that the Ubisoft's depiction of this character seems like the most logical and the most probable. Because I can't believe for the life of me that a person with that kind of disability can lead an army, be able to fight on a battlefield, or even get through childhood without being bullied to the point of not having any character. Or just straight up died or killed. Because it's the 800s, even normal people just die from the cold. But who knows, maybe this is a very special case and the show's version is actually more accurate. We'll never know for sure. Like the video, drop a comment, and subscribe if you like the content. I've been Rash, and I'm out of here.